manual mode, functions walkthrough. Manual mode gives users access to all functions of the machine individually. It is a good starting point to learn about the features the machine offers. Preparation. Channel air blow. The first thing we want to do after connecting our mold to the machine is to make sure there is no residual water inside our cooling channels. This water is usually heavily contaminated and we want to avoid polluting our water or cleaning media even before we switch to the actual cleaning and diagnostics processes. Go to manual mode and select air blow function. Here we can select from three outputs for the compressed air. Cleaning media tank, diagnostics tank and external water supply. The third option, mains water output, will be only available if the pressure sensor detected pressure on the inlet of external water supply. Otherwise, we will not be able to select this output. Note that due to lack of external water supply, the rinsing option in the bottom left corner of manual mode menu is unavailable as well. Make sure the external water supply is connected to the machine and the valve is open. Once the pressure is detected, you will see the additional channel rinsing function that was previously greyed out appear on the menu. Select the air blow function again, this time you will be able to choose the mains water out. Select all the sections you would like to blow with compressed air. Caution. Remember to check if all hoses are properly connected to the mold and the machine. Press start button to begin. All the residual water in the channels will be flushed away without contaminating the tanks with dirt. This means less frequent need to exchange the media in tanks, saving time and money. You can combine this function with mains water rinsing to get even better results. Manual mode. Rinsing with external water supply. Select channel rinsing function. Choose the sections for rinsing with mains water. Make sure the external water supply is plugged in and the mold is connected to the machine. When ready, activate the rinsing function by pressing start button on the main console. Mold channels will be flushed with water. This way you can prepare your channels for further operations and ensure as little tank contamination as possible. The machine will activate air blow function automatically after rinsing every single channel, making sure there is no water left in the channels and hoses. Caution! Remember to set the air blow to at least 45 seconds, otherwise the machine might not have enough time to remove all the water from the channels. Pressure test, scenario 1. Pressure test is a compressed air based test allowing users to detect potential leakage prior to switching to functions based on liquids, preventing leakage and spillage of media onto the floor. It will show if there is any drop in pressure over a predefined period of time, indicating potential leakage. This test can be used in combination with leakage test, which is water-based, to identify a specific leakage spot. Go to settings and select work parameters. First, set filling tightness. This parameter is simply the time the machine pumps air into the channel to compress the air. It is usually enough to set this parameter to 10 seconds. Next, select tightness. This parameter defines the amount of time on the timer. To make sure the channel is really tight, set this parameter to higher value. Normally, if there is no pressure drop detected in 20 seconds, the machine considers the channel to be tight. Minimum tightness test pressure parameter defines the minimum starting pressure inside the channel in order for the test to begin. If this pressure is not reached, the test will be failed. Increase the filling tightness if your compressor is not able to compress air inside the channel to 3.5 bars, which is the minimum value that can be set. Tightness pressure defines the acceptable pressure drop in a given time that will not be defined as leakage. 
Once all the parameters are defined, go to manual mode and select pressure test function. Caution. Remember to check if your mold channels are properly connected to the machine prior to starting the test. Choose the sections you want to test and press start button to initiate the process. The test begins with pumping air into the channel, compressing it to 6 bars. Then the valves are closed and the air is trapped inside the channel. The counter starts. Once the timer reaches zero, the valves are opened and the remaining pressure is released. The machine repeats the process for the remaining sections that were selected for the test. Pressure test, scenario 2. Test failed. If the pressure falls below the 0.2 bars, the machine interprets the channel to be leaking. In such a case, one should identify where the leakage is coming from. To do this, we switch to leakage test based on water. Leakage test. If you're doing the leakage test for the first time, go to settings, work parameters and define the time allocated to leakage test. Usually three minutes is enough to be able to spot the leakage area. Next, go to manual mode and select leakage test option. Leakage test helps us find the exact leakage spot. Choose the sections that were identified as leaking during the pressure test and activate the process with the start button. Observe the mold and try to spot the leaking area. Sometimes it might be a missing o-ring between the insert and the mold plate. In such a case, finding the leakage requires mold disassembly. It might also happen there is an internal leakage between channels. This is often true when two corresponding channels are defined as leaking. However, there is no sign of leakage on the mold itself. In this particular case, we are testing section 2. Because there is internal leakage between the second and third channel, the water is coming out from the section 3. This implies there are holes between these two corresponding channels interrupting the flow and causing the pressure test failure. Caution. If internal leakage between channels is detected, one should consider the risk of cleaning such channels, as exposing them to cleaning media will most likely increase the holes in the channel walls. Internal leakage is usually an outcome of heavily corroded channel walls, and removing corrosion and rust will result in making the problem even more pronounced, leading to higher disruption in cooling medium flow. After finishing the leakage test, go to manual mode and select air blow function. Then choose diagnostics tank and select the sections for drying with compressed air. Caution. Remember you can always change the time of the air blow in the parameter settings. Too short air blow time will result in water remaining in the channels. Blockage test. First, go to settings and select work parameters. Then define the time for filling patency. This parameter defines the time the machine pumps air into the channel prior to testing with the return valves open. Usually 5 seconds is enough. Then define the maximum patency test pressure. This is the maximum acceptable pressure value in the channel once pressure is released. If the pressure is above this value, the machine will define the channels as clogged. Go to manual mode and select blockage test. Choose the sections you want to verify. When ready, activate the test with start button on the main console. 
observe the manometer. If the pressure is falling down quickly, it means the channel is clear enough for the air to come through without any issues. If the pressure is falling down slowly, it can either mean the channel diameter is very small or there is some obstruction in the channel making it difficult for the air to pass through. Blockage test. Clogged channel identification. If the indicator holds still and there is no pressure drop, or the pressure is barely falling down, the channel is most likely clogged. In such a case, wait 20 seconds and the machine will automatically release the pressure from the channel by opening the valves. Then the channel will be marked as blocked. Caution. If the channel is completely clogged or there is little air passage, we recommend skipping the diagnostics feature as putting water into the channel will make the attempt to unclog the channel even more difficult. Diagnostics. Diagnostics feature allows users to measure flow rates of individual cooling channels so that they can be compared before and after cleaning. Go to manual mode and select diagnostics function. Next, choose the mold from the mold database. Click the question mark under the mold index and pick the project that was created in the project manager. The machine will automatically upload the number of channels once the project is selected. Mark the sections you want to diagnose. Each activated section corresponds to one of the channels. Next, define which channel is connected to which section. This is particularly important as the flow rate values will be assigned to specific channel, therefore it is crucial to... Once ready, press Start button on the main console to initiate the flow rate measurement procedure. Caution! Remember to check if the mold channels are properly connected to the machine prior to starting the process. Initiating the process without having the mold connected will result in leakage of water. Measurement of the flow is done with the rotary pump, generating the maximum flow of 50 liters per minute. The flow rate value visible on the screen is an average value taken from the last 10 seconds of measurement. Each second, 10 measurements are taken. After each measurement, the channel is automatically dried with compressed air. Once the air blow is over, the section is marked green. Once the measurements of all sections are over, they can be saved as a reference point for the future. Saving flow rate values as a reference point is especially useful with new molds, where the channels are clean and the flow rates are the highest possible. Once saved, these can be used in the future in more advanced features as cleaning to reference, where the machine compares the actual flow to the one saved in the database and continues cleaning until predefined values are reached. See automatic mode video for more information. To save the reference flow rate, simply click the Set Reference button corresponding to each section. The navy blue bar will be copied and the light blue bar will appear above it. This light blue bar represents the reference flow rate and will be visible during the next diagnostics. The flow rate values are saved in the database under the name of the project that was selected. To see the history of operations, Open the project in the database and then click the details button to see the saved flow values. Cleaning. Prior to the first cleaning operation, go to settings and choose work parameters. First, define the intervals of pumping and pulsation. This parameter sets the frequency of change between pumping cleaning media into the channel and pulsation. You can also define the nominal pressure, however this particular parameter can be changed later as well. In manual mode, select cleaning function. 
Choose the mold from the mold database by clicking the question mark button. Once the project is selected, the corresponding information about the number of channels and their names will appear on the screen. Set the cleaning time and nominal pressure, then click continue arrow to proceed. Select the sections that have been connected to the mold channels. Activated sections will turn orange. In this case, we skip sections 2 and 3 as these channels have internal leakage. Next, assign a specific channel to a section in accordance with the physical connection of channels to the machine. The cleaning process is a two-step procedure. The first stage is filling the channel with warm cleaning media. The machine begins with filling sections 1, 3 and 5, then it switches to filling channels 2, 4 and 6, while pulsation process begins for sections 1, 3 and 5. The process is looped. Every section switches between pumping and pulsation in intervals, redefined by the user in the work parameters. When the process is manually stopped by the user, a pop-up menu appears on the screen. The first option is pressure drainage. This feature is useful when we deal with a clogged channel and we would like to release the built-in pressure in the hose prior to disconnecting it from the mold. Click the pressure release button. You will see G1, G2 and G3 buttons. These refer to groups of sections. G1 stands for group 1, constituting sections 1 and 2, G2 stands for group 2, constituting sections 3 and 4, and G3 stands for group 3, constituting sections 5 and 6. The reason why sections are grouped in pairs is because the pressure from a selected channel is released by means of the neighboring section. In other words, if we want to release the pressure from section 3, it will be released through section 4, and vice versa. This is why sections 3 and 4 are grouped together. This rule is similar for section pairs 1 and 2 and 5 and 6. To release the pressure from a selected channel, choose the group the section belongs to. Marked group will turn orange. Next, press OK button and wait. It will take several seconds for the pressure to be released through the neighboring channel. When air blow is selected, the channels are dried with compressed air. A dried channel will be marked green. When the process is over, the user is taken to manual mode menu. Conservation If you want to give your channel some additional layer of protection after the cleaning process, you can add some corrosion inhibitors to the diagnostics tank. Remember to select corrosion inhibitors that are active within a certain pH value range and mix it with water in the ratio suggested by its manufacturer, usually no more than 2% solution. In order to keep the corrosion inhibitor active for longer, it is crucial to use rinsing function with external water supply between the cleaning and diagnostics, as well as conservation functions. Mark the sections you'd like to flush with corrosion inhibitor mixture. If the process is based on diagnostics tank, if there is no corrosion inhibitor added, the conservation process will be based on water only. Each channel is flushed with the solution and then dried with compressed air. Dried channels are marked green.